Week 11 of the NFL season is here and we have some really good matchups coming our way in games this week. We have Josh Allen versus Patrick Mahomes, Bills and Chiefs, a game that everyone has circled on their calendar every single season. Thursday Night Football should be a good showdown between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Washington Commanders for a battle for first place in the NFC East. We have the Jameis Winston Revenge Game versus the New Orleans Saints. And on Sunday Night Football, we'll have Justin Herbert taking on Joe Burrow in the Bengals, two of the best quarterbacks in the NFL right now. And on top of that, we have an AFC North showdown between the Ravens and the Pittsburgh Steelers who are undefeated with Russell Wilson and the Ravens have Lamar Jackson who is the MVP front runner. In today's video, we're going to be doing our weekly predictions of who I think is going to be winning. And then you guys can let me know down in the comments whether or not you think I made a stupid pick or not. But first things first, we have to go over last week's predictions, do a quick little recap and go over our overall record. Our overall record on the season with our weekly predictions is 101 and 51 after going 10 and 4 last week. So why don't we do a quick little recap of last week and then we'll get into these week 11 predictions. All right, on this screenshot, we got my stupid face right here. And then Thursday night football, we picked the Ravens to beat the Cincinnati Bengals. And that was correct. A really close game that came down to a two point conversion, which the Bengals possibly could have gotten a redo on had they gotten a face mask call on either Joe Burrow or the lineman or the other lineman. But instead they did not. And they ended up losing that game. I picked the Giants over the Panthers simply because I just didn't think it would be smart to pick the Panthers in any game. But now they've won two games in a row, beating the Giants in Germany and poor Germany. Having to watch these two teams play football would make me not want to watch football. And the whole purpose of sending teams internationally is to grow the game of football. And this right here is not how you do that. Caleb Williams in the Bears versus Drake May in the Patriots. I got this one wrong as well drake may led the patriots to a win over the bears caleb williams and the bears definitely did not look good they punted a lot caleb williams is starting to slow down maybe that win streak they had really was just them playing a lot of one win teams and now their offensive coordinator is fired after this game after the new england patriots pulled off the w and the bears were not able to find offensive success in this game the Bills beat the Colts. I think majority of us saw that one coming. I really don't know anything about this game, so we're just going to skip over this review, but we got that pick right. Somehow the Vikings barely beat the Jacksonville Jaguars, who are the worst team in the NFL record-wise. And if you look at the draft pick, they have the number one pick in the draft right now, I believe. So the Vikings barely beating them. Sam Darnold is looking like how Sam Darnold used to look and the Sam Darnold we all expected to see this season. Uh, he did not look good through three four picks maybe one was called back and this is a team a few weeks ago that made a huge trade for a left tackle to stay contenders and now their starting quarterback is starting to suck after their all pro left tackle got injured versus the rams on thursday night football a few weeks ago but we did get this pick right as well the chiefs and the broncos i believe i did say this probably would be a close game and i wouldn't be shocked if it went one way for the Broncos since the divisional game, Mahomes has been slacking. The Broncos have a good defense. And it quite literally was one play away from going the other way. But the Chiefs were able to pull off a blocked field goal at the end and pull off the victory. But we did get this prediction right. We also got the Saints and Falcons pick right. I literally said in that video, there's zero logic behind this pick. The Falcons are the favorite. They're the starters. They have their head coach. The Saints traded their best player. They just fired their head coach. There's no reason to pick the Saints over the Falcons. They have no wide receivers. And yet the Saints somehow were able to pull off the win versus the Atlanta Falcons. That's another pick we got right. 49ers and Buccaneers. This is one I was struggling with to pick. But ultimately, I did decide to pick the 49ers over the Buccaneers because they did get McCaffrey back. And they're still, I think, a better coach and have better talent. And it came down to the last second field goal and they did pull off the win. That's another pick we got right. But this next one we got wrong. I picked the Commanders over the Steelers and the Steelers pulled off the win. I did say though that I would not be shocked if the Steelers won or if it was a close game and the Steelers won by a single point. Chargers beat the Titans. That was an easy pick right there. 
Eagles over the Cowboys. That was an easy pick. And now Dak Prescott is out, I believe, for the rest of the season with that hamstring injury. And picking the Cardinals over the Jets, I picked that one correctly. I didn't think it'd be 31 to 6, but that's another prediction that we got right on that one. I thought the Lions right here on Sunday Night Football would have smoked the Texans, but that was not the case. It was a close game that came down literally to an inch or two. And the Lions somehow pulled off the W despite throwing four or five interceptions. And this is the last one we got wrong. The Rams versus the Dolphins. I thought the Rams would have been able to pull off the win. The Dolphins have been struggling. But the Rams didn't even find the end zone in this game. They didn't score a touchdown. Meanwhile, the Dolphins somehow pulled off the win but this monday night football game was not even worthy of being played on thursday night football so that was a quick little recap of our picks and predictions last week so why don't we get into these week 11 picks and speaking of picks check out this ad from underdog fantasy the best place to play fantasy sports underdog fantasy is the best place to play fantasy sports download the fantasy underdog app find some players you're interested in maybe on your favorite team or your favorite players it doesn't have to be on your team either it could be on other teams as well find their stats and you can pick higher or lower and you can pick up to five players slash picks make some picks on underdog fantasy and use my code cash for more bonus offers and if you want to help support me and the channel in any other ways you can just click my link tree down in the description there's lots of options for you there as well all right thanks for tuning in let's get back to the video First up in week 11, we got the Washington Commanders versus the Philadelphia Eagles. A really good game. Both teams, I believe, have seven wins. The Commanders are coming off a loss and the Eagles are coming off of a win versus the Dallas Cowboys. On this one, I'm picking the Eagles to beat the Commanders. The Eagles are at home. They're on a hot streak. They're coming off a win. The Commanders just lost. Marshawn Lattimore is not playing in this game. A guy who they just traded for about a week ago. He's still dealing with a hamstring injury that he dealt with with the Saints. But I'm going to pick the Eagles over the Commanders on this one. They just seem to be on a hot streak. Now, obviously, I would not be shocked if the Commanders were able to pull off this win. But they don't have a guy who can shut down A.J. Brown or Devontae Smith. And Saquon Barkley is one of the best players in the NFL right now. It's kind of hard not to pick the Eagles and they're at home. I'm going with the Eagles on this one. Packers taking on the Chicago Bears. I'm going to have to pick the Green Bay Packers on this one. Um, the Bears just fired their OC. They're not going to get any better options midseason. I doubt anyone on their staff has the answers to their problems. The Packers, one of the better teams in the NFC, especially in that division. The Bears have a lot more issues than just coaching. They just released one of their left guards who got benched. So yeah, easy pick right here, which is the Packers. Lions versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Another easy pick on this one. The Lions are at home, the best team in the NFL versus, if you look at the draft order, Versus the worst team in the NFL in the Jacksonville Jaguars. You got to pick the Detroit Lions on this one. It came close versus the Texans last week, but we have yet to see a team find ways to beat the Lions outside of a week two loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So I'm picking the Detroit Lions easily versus the Jacksonville Jaguars on this one. Raiders versus the Miami Dolphins. This is going to be a probably low scoring game if I had to guess, but I'm going to pick the Miami Dolphins to beat the Raiders. The Raiders might be a bottom five team in the NFL. They don't have a starting quarterback. Their head coach, Antonio Pierce, doesn't really do too much well. They don't have any receivers, although Brock Bowers is a good player. I just don't think this is a game where you can pick the Raiders to win. I'm going to go with the Miami Dolphins. Patriots versus the Rams. Easy pick once again, just like the Lions and Jags and the Packers and Bears. I'm going with the Rams on this one. But I do think that Drake May and the Patriots are a team that has found their quarterback. I think Drake May might be their guy. They just got to build that roster up around him. But the Rams, they got the better coach. They got the better quarterback right now. They got the better weapons. They just got the better team. So we're picking the Rams over the Patriots. Saints versus the Cleveland Browns. The Jameis Winston revenge game. After Jameis Winston was done dirty in New Orleans by former Saints head coach Dennis Allen, he's making his return to the Superdome, but this time as the Browns starting quarterback coming off of a bye week, and he's obviously going to be looking to get his revenge versus the Saints organization. Now, Dennis Allen being fired doesn't really make it a revenge game. Jameis has a lot of good relationships and friendships with the players on the Saints, and Dennis Allen was really the main guy who didn't like Jameis Winston. 
but it's still gonna be a revenge game he's playing his former team and any time a player plays his former team he's gonna want to get a little taste of revenge and a little taste of blood so it's gonna be very interesting i do have the saints winning this game over the browns though i don't know just i don't know too much about the browns they don't have their starting quarterback james winston will either give you the best or worst game you've ever seen by a quarterback so i'm just gonna pick the saints on this one i wouldn't be shocked if it was the other way around miles garrett is definitely gonna terrorize and disrupt Derek Carr, especially against the offensive line eric mccoy though for the saints might be back this week so that'll be interesting to see what they do but i'm gonna pick the saints over the browns on this one i would like to see the saints i guess lose i think getting that top pick is more beneficial to the saints than winning five meaningless games the rest of the season but i'm not ever going to be disappointed in a win ravens versus the pittsburgh steelers this is going to be a really good matchup the steelers are at home and are one of the hottest teams in the nfl sitting at a i believe seven and two record taking on the ravens who have the league's mvp front runner in lamar jackson and is one of the hottest teams in the nfl i'm gonna have to pick the ravens on this one though i just i can't pick against the league mvp front runner the way lamar jackson has been playing recently they got derrick henry but the steelers have a top defense in the nfl russell wilson's playing great football again i'm really excited to see how this game ends up going vikings versus the titans i'm gonna go with the minnesota vikings on this one Yes, Sam Donald has been sucking as of recently, but guess what? The Titans suck more. And I don't think the Titans are good enough to beat the Vikings, even if Sam Donald is playing his worst game. So I'm picking the Vikings over the Tennessee Titans. It doesn't matter who's at home or not. Colts versus the Jets. This is an interesting game that I was kind of conflicted about who I should pick. Anthony Richardson is now the starting quarterback once again for the Colts. They just benched Joe Flacco after two weeks. The Jets are at home, but I'm going to go with the Jets over the Indianapolis Colts. Um, there's really no logic behind this. I just kind of flipped the coin in my head and went with the Jets. Going with my gut feeling, I'm going with the Jets over the Colts. Broncos taking on the Atlanta Falcons. I'm going to have to pick the Falcons on this one. The Broncos are coming off two losses. One to the Chiefs, one to the Ravens. They're 5-5. Five and five. The Falcons are coming off a loss to the Saints after being one of the hottest teams in the NFL. I just think the Falcons are the better team. Bo Nix is playing really well. I wouldn't be surprised if the Broncos found a way to win this game. But I'm picking the Falcons over the Broncos. I'm sure Sean Payton obviously has some stuff up his sleeves for his former uh division rival team that you played against for 18 15 years 49ers versus the seattle seahawks i'm going with the niners they beat the seahawks earlier this season without christian mccaffrey now they got him back and now the 49ers are at home easy pick on this one we got the 49ers winning this game chiefs versus the buffalo bills i'm going with the buffalo bills two of the best teams in the afc and in the nfl the chiefs the last remaining undefeated team but Patrick Mahomes is in a slump. Josh Allen is playing great football for the Buffalo Bills. And they're at home. Josh Allen is 3-1 versus Patrick Mahomes in the regular season. I have to go with the Buffalo Bills on this one. The Chiefs barely beat the Broncos. The Bills are a better team than the Broncos. And have a top 3 QB in the NFL. I'm going with the Bills. Sunday night football. We got the Bengals taking on the Los Angeles Chargers in LA. This should be a really good game. The Chargers... And the Bengals both have two of the best QBs in the NFL playing this season. Joe Burrow, his his performance recently has been overshadowed by the losses they've taken, but he's playing some of the best football he's probably played in his career. Justin Herbert's having one of the best seasons he's ever had. It's going to be a really good game. I'm going to pick the Chargers, though. For whatever reason, the Bengals are finding ways to lose, and the Chargers are just finding ways to win. And you put those teams up against each other. I'm going to pick the team that has found ways to win over the team that has found ways to lose and on top of that the chargers are better coached than the Bengals. and finally we got the battle of texas the cowboys taking on the houston texans easy pick we're going with the texans on this one the cowboys don't have dak prescott we saw what they did last week um and the cowboys just aren't a good team this season even with dak prescott so we're picking the texans and the four teams on a bye this week are the buccaneers giants panthers and the cardinals that does it for our week 11 picks let me know if you agree or disagree with any of them is there anything that you would change let me know down in the comments subscribe to my channel cash sports for more daily nfl content up-to-date news predictions 
all that good stuff. Have a good one and enjoy Thursday Night Football tonight. Peace.